hi everyone uh, in uh, today's video i am going to uh, take up a new question in the topic of ship stability and in this question we understand the effect of density on both draft and ship's displacement but particularly we learn how to calculate cargo to discharge to reach a desired draft so without much ado let's get into the question so the question says there is a vessel of 12,000 ton displacement that arrives at the mouth of a river drawing 10 meters in seawater. So this is seawater, SW seawater, relative density is 1.025. How much cargo must she discharge so that her draft in an upriver port of relative density 1.012 would also be 10 meters all right so you are currently in a sea water at a draft of 10 meters and when you enter the water of relative density 1.012 that means density is now changing from 1.025 to 1.012 your draft should still remain the same now ideally what happens is as the density decreases in this case density is decreasing draft would increase draft increases draft increases that means vessel will sink all right vessel sinks so draft increases so when the density is decreasing vessel sinks and draft decreases oh sorry draft increases all right now in this case they want to keep the draft of the vessel same that is 10 meters in both seawater and relative density 1.012 so you have to find out how much cargo you have to discharge because as the vessel will sink and the draft will ideally increase if you discharge the cargo vessel will then rise all right so let's draw a diagram so that it is clearer to us as to what is going on here all right so let's say this is this is a seawater relative density is 1.025 and this is relative density 1.012 all right so you can see that uh, somewhere here now the vessel is right now at the mouth of the river all right this is the river and it is at the mouth of the river the density of the the draft of the vessel is 10 meters and this is what the draft should be even when it goes into the river of 1.012 although Ideally, if nothing has been done, the vessel would have gone in, sunk, and the draft would have increased. So, how do we calculate how much cargo to discharge? Alright, so let's start with it. So, what you know is that uh, you have been given the displacement of the vessel. So, the weight of the vessel or displacement of the vessel is given to you, right? So, we all know that displacement, which is denoted by the symbol triangle, is equal to under water volume of the vessel multiplied by density of the water in which the vessel is floating here the displacement is given as 12,000 tons underwater volume is of course not given to you so underwater volume is also written as length by breadth by draft of the vessel length by breadth by draft multiplied by density which is 1.025 now this is in seawater remember that all right we are talking about the this condition here when the vessel was in seawater now if we want to find out the underwater volume in this case or length by breadth by draft in this case is equal to 12000 divided by 1.025 right which is equal to 11707.317 metric cube now you don't know the length and the breadth of the vessel you only knew the draft of the vessel which is 10 meters All right so you could put 10 meters here and then find out the length and breadth but that is not important for us let's see why so we have found out the underwater volume now what happens here is that uh, because in both the cases so this is sea water length by breadth by draft underwater volume so underwater volume in seawater in this case will be equal to underwater volume in 
doc in relative density 1.012 they want to keep it the same why is because if you look at it carefully they want to keep the draft same right so the draft has to be 10 meters in both cases so in seawater the draft was 10 meters and that's what they want to keep here as well so ideally the vessel's length and breadth will not change it will be the same what would have changed would have been the draft of the vessel when the vessel would have sunk the draft would have changed but in this case they want to keep it the same that means they want to keep the underwater volume same in both the cases underwater volume they want to keep the same in both cases that means underwater volume of the vessel in dock water should also be the same as sea water all right so we have found out the underwater volume in seawater as 11707.317 that means displacement of the vessel in relative density 1.012 should be equal to underwater volume multiplied by density which is again 1.012 now although underwater volume would have changed if we didn't carry out any operations here we want to keep the underwater volume same because we want to keep the draft same as 10 meters and the length and breadth of the vessel cannot be changed anyway it doesn't matter where you go it doesn't change length and breadth is fixed so displacement in 1.012 will be equal to same underwater volume so what is underwater volume in seawater we'll use the same here 11707.317 and the new density is 1.012 so the new displacement will be 11847.8 tons right this is the what the displacement of the vessel should be in water of relative density 1.012 so the displacement here is 12000 and if i took the vessel into the river and try to keep the same draft of 10 meters if i want to keep the same draft of 10 meters then the displacement here should be 11847.8 tons that means how much cargo to discharge so cargo to discharge at the mouth of the river cargo to discharge before entering the river will be equal to 12,000 tons which was the original displacement minus 11847.8 which will keep the drafts same so it will be 152.2 tons all right so if I discharge 152.2 tons here and then enter the river, my draft will be unchanged. It will be 10 meters. Otherwise, if I had gone in with the same displacement because of a lowering of density, my vessel would have sunk. The draft would have increased. All right. So I hope you guys have understood this question. I will take up more questions in future for ship stability because this is a topic that students struggle with. These are some basic questions. I will take up some questions regarding um, load lines as well in the topic of ship stability. So I look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.